Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Steven Hammer and today we are talking about your replica WWE stock strap versus a re-leathered WWE strap. Which one is better? Which one should you get? Well, let's find out right now. All right, so here's my WWE Raw Tag Team title, replica title off WWEshop.com. Uh, it has not been re-leathered. Everything is still the stock screws and all that stuff. I want to show you what this belt looks like when it's laid flat down on a table versus a re-leathered belt and how soft that leather is. So I'm going to flip this belt over and uh, I want to show you why getting a belt is important by getting a belt re-leathered is important, uh, to me at least. Some people don't give a flip if their belts are re-leathered. Um, I do, I, I really like the, the feel of real leather. Uh, the back of the screws really doesn't bother me too much, but the real leather is a big thing for me, as I like my leather to be floppy and soft. Uh, as you will see here on this uh, replica WWE stock strap, if you were to do this uh, and just pull, put the plates down, you can bend the plates down like that, uh, but the plates are slowly, I don't know if you can catch this on camera, but the, the leather is slowly starting to, to do this and that. That's what it's trying to do. So if I do this, you can see how much it wants to stay up. Uh, I'll do it on this side. If I want to lay it down, I have to press it down. And it, it, <laughs> as you guys can see, it just does that. So if we try to take the leather and lay it over this way, and then we'll take this one and try to lay it over this way, uh, we'll see if it stays or not. Okay, well it's not too bad. It's wanting to, from my angle, it looks pretty flat, but from, if you're lower looking down at it, it is up a lot, actually. Um, so yeah, that is the WWE Raw Tag Team title. If you just lay the leather over, uh, it, it kind of just stays up on a real leather strap. It would not do this. It would actually lay flat like that. So let me get the raw, or let me get the WWE title that I have re-leathered by Ray Ray, and I will show you the difference of the leather. Okay, here is my WWE uh, World Heavyweight title. Uh, I love this belt. The ba there is backing on this belt. Absolutely beautiful. Some of the best leather I've ever handled. If I take this title and lay it down, it lays flat. I don't have to push it down or force it down in any way possible. Uh, it just, it's just really, really good. Same for this side. It goes straight down, no problems, no worries. And uh, I love the way that it feels. You could go this way. You can go that way. And you can see just how it just folds up on itself because that leather is so soft. Couldn't do that with a WWE title because the leather is so thick. Because I believe, uh, I don't know if the new ones are like this, but I know the old ones used to be fill, filled with foam and cork and cardboard inside of them, making the straps really, really thick. Uh, so this is why I recommend getting a, a real leather strap, uh, especially if you have a WWE replica. Uh, go with Ray Ray Championship Belts on Facebook. Uh, his leather is extremely soft and uh, you guys will love it. So let me show the differences one more time. So there's Ray Ray's and if I try to lay... Now this is me with no effort trying to put the, the strap down. It does not want to stay. You kind of got to give it a little bit of a little bit of assistance to lay your strap down. And there you go, now the strap will, will, will kind of stay roughly in that area. But uh, I recommend getting a belt re-leathered. To me, the belts are just so much better. And uh, let me change the camera angle so you guys can see exactly how much of this belt pops up. Okay, I'm going to snap some of these together so you guys can see what they look like. That should do it. There's the WWE title snapped together, or the Raw Tag Team title snapped together. I never usually snap my belts together because I never wear them. I mean, I'm, I'm too fat. 
Uh, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. So there you go. There's the differences between a re-leathered title and how soft the leather is uh, compared to a stock WWE strap. Uh, you know, this belt is just laying flat. It's like, like a belt on TV is. And this one is sticking up like that. You know, TV belts, they would kind of fold down on themselves and they would lay flat. But uh, this is just the stock WWE strap. So it's not going to be near as good as this one. But I recommend if you guys are going to get a belt re-leathered, re definitely get it re-leathered if you can because it makes so much difference. Uh, the, the belt just feels more better and looks better compared to the uh, stock strip. Again, it's completely up to you. So for the people that have WWE replica belts, uh, some of you guys may not even care about the strap of the belts. Maybe you just display them and that's about it and uh, you don't really care how the strap is. But for people out there that do care about their straps and like that fresh smell good leather, <sighs> Smells really good. It feels really good. It feels a lot better than the uh, the stock straps that we have uh, because back in the day the straps used to be so thick they would be filled with uh, foam inserts, cardboard inserts, and making the strap really thick to where it wasn't really like a TV belt to where the strap was so thin and uh, really really floppy as like we like to call it in the belt world. A floppy belt is the best kind of belt to have instead of a thick strap like this. Uh, one day I will get this belt re-leathered on real leather. Until then, it just hangs up on the wall and it's fine the way it is. One of the downsides of getting a belt re-leathered is that a re-leather cost is usually about between $200 to $400 to get real leather on a championship belt. Uh, the cool thing is you can get your belt with any color leather that you want. Maybe you want black leather, or maybe you want to paint this blue or maybe you want the backing to be red the possibilities are endless you can do so many things by getting your belt re-leathered but it is kind of pricey it is kind of costly uh, but for some people they just buy the replica straight off of wbshop.com and don't care about the leather they don't really care about any of that stuff they just want a really cool piece in the background or a really cool just memorabilia for their office or for their room especially kids kids really don't care about you know if the leather is real or, or whatever they just want a really cool belt i know as a kid i didn't care that i had a foam intercontinental title you know as a kid i just cared that i had a belt you know what i mean and uh so a lot of people don't care about the leather uh, i do i like to know where, who made the leather in my opinion leather is one of the most important things on a belt you can have beautiful plates but the leather work will really make or break a belt in my opinion. And um, so this is what I recommend. Getting a belt re-leathered, um, especially some shop replicas, like belts like this one or like the spinner belt, especially because the straps are just so thick and bulky. And uh, so I recommend getting a belt re-leathered. And here's another way you can tell if you need to get a belt re-leathered in my opinion. Take a belt like this, hold it up to the side, and if your strap was kind of stiff and sticking out kind of like this and not laying completely flat like this, that is just my opinion. You know, the strap is stick like that. This one is it's starting to get worn in, but you can see the strap is sticking way out like this. I think when I first got it, it was out here. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell the way you can do that. You can tell the way the belt hangs off to the side. On a real leather belt, it won't do that and it will hang straight down the side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the WWE title, re-leathered by Ray Ray on some of the best leather I've ever felt in my life. Uh, I absolutely love this belt and I absolutely love the, this, the way that it feels. It is just out of this world so good. Okay, so the leather is like this. It goes straight down, extremely soft. It lays flat with the belt, just like the ones on TV. You know, just absolutely beautiful belt. And I love this one. I love I love taking pictures of this belt because it just always looks so good in pictures. And uh, I love the way it feels. Uh, the leather could not be any better in my opinion. Even though Ray Ray says it's one of his earlier works, uh, I still love this belt. And uh, 
in my opinion, if you're going to get a WB belt relevered, go to Ray Ray because Ray Ray does these WB shop replicas and he does a great job. So that is just my opinion on what to do if you have a WWE shop belt. Definitely get it, consider getting it re-leathered. There are so many re-leathering guys out there that will do a phenomenal job on your belts. I have a list in my phone of different price points, how long it will take to get your belt on leather, um, and all their Facebook pages. If you guys are ever on Facebook or Instagram, hit me up and ask me for that list. There are so many people on that list that can re-leather your belt and make it look so good and so much better. So um, I highly recommend that you guys do that. So what are your guys' thoughts on getting a belt re-leathered? Do you guys like the stock strap? Do you not even care about getting a belt re-leathered? Do you just care for it uh, for display purposes only? Let me know in the comment section below. All right guys, that is all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like boat videos, consider subscribing as I try to upload new videos every week or at least every other week. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Steven Hammer and I will see you guys next time. Peace.